Hi friends, this is Susie, your Candy Crush Guru, here to help you solve the puzzle of level 2015, where we have 50 moves to clear out 8 jelly. I see them, they're trapped here and here. So um, this is three layers of frosting, and it looks like there are two layers of jelly underneath. Uh, we do have fish, but if we set them all off at once, then they won't know how and where to attack. Plus, we've got these here, and so they'll probably just attack here. So what I want to do is clear out as much of this stuff as possible and start opening those up. I'm not going to look for a good setup because I think that I need to wait until I get some things cleared out anyway before I really want to start using um, all the specials that can help me with the fish. So, but I will start making them when I can, because they need to be unwrapped. And if I can open up the popcorn, that's even better, because I can't get through to this until the popcorn is out of the way. Huh. I'm going to go this route. Take out that frosting. Okay, I need to pop popcorn, so I'd like to get this down here, maybe. Huh. No shot of that yet. Now it's down and ready, but that's already gone. What else can I do here? Oh, I can make more stuff. I don't know that I'm playing very precisely on this board. I think I could be looking more carefully at things. Although now I'm in a situation where this is coming around and I could possibly get this set up. The problem then is I would lose my red fish, wouldn't I? The fish wouldn't be able to do their job. Oh, I set that down. Ah, uh, well, that doesn't work anyway. So I think what I'm going to do Huh. I don't like that choice either. I was just going to go ahead and set these off. Well, there goes some fish. Let's see what happens. They had good targets. They went the right places. Now I'm going to try to get Let's see. I'm going to try to get this lined up, but I'm going to send some more fish off too. Because if I send just a few off at a time, it does a good job. It's attacking the jelly underneath. The fish are attacking the jelly underneath. I love that about them. What happened to my stripe? It disappeared. I have to start over. Okay, so there's a stripe. It might end up hitting this. I wouldn't mind too much. There's a stripe going the wrong direction too, but I could line it up. I've got 20, oh, or I could do that, which was absolutely ridiculous on my part. I've got 25 moves now, and I, I'm kind of feeling invincible because of that, and because of the way the fish are reacting. Stripe, wrap, oh, I'm going to do this wrap. Look at that, I only have one left to go. It's just this one. So if I send off the fish and they go here, that's it. I'm done and I don't have to do any more. Because the fish will act differently on different boards. And for some reason, they nibble away at the jelly underneath the frosting on this board. So there, that's how I beat level 2015 on my first playthrough with just the fish. I didn't take them all out at once because then they might all target the same 
block and they would only do one piece of damage. You know, you could have 17 doing one piece of damage. So try to stagger them and I didn't even have to take out the popcorn. If you'd like to see more videos, you can subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, please put those below. Now realize that it's happening this way on this level for me. That doesn't mean the fish will always act like this. They don't always. Uh, but that's how I'm beating this level as of April 20th, 2018. So it's working for me now. And as always, thanks so much for watching.